Madeline and the Cats of Rome. From an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, left 12 little girls in two straight lines. Their bags were packed, a camera stowed. They were ready to escape the cold. The train that leaves at half past nine. Hurry, hurry, Madeline. Across the Alps, the pace was slow. The mountains still were packed with snow. But the far and farther south they traveled, the more that winter came unraveled. Although it's dreary back at home, the time has come for... Spring in Rome. Down the steps they took a stroll. Hearing bells of churches toll. Here's a fountain they found quite appealing. And everyone loved the Sistine ceiling. But in Italy, the greatest treat comes when it's time to eat. Miss Clavel said, over here, signore, 12 plates of pasta, por favore. The hours of the day were running out. The sun was setting, or just about. One last photo, let's press in line, said Miss Clavel. Yes, that's right. But the moment she had her camera drawn, it was yanked from her hands by the strap and was gone. Madeline took up the chase, first a theft and now a race. Into the fountain with a splash. Through the market in a dash. Across the river they kept the tail, but coming back, they lost the trail. Madeline said, there is no justice. That little thief completely lost us. Just then a cat, seeking some affection, arches back into Madeline's direction. Madeline said, my, what a nice kitten. Her dog was of a different opinion. Genevieve. Madeline yelled, too late. She had followed the cat through a locked up grate into a house about to fall down, found in the poorest part of town. Madeline pushed the door, it creaked. Is anyone there? She asked as she peeked. From somewhere deep in the shadowy dark, she heard Genevieve's whimpering bark. Then Madeline, see then Madeline saw it to her great surprise. Those shining, staring, glaring eyes. They were cats, cats, look at them all. They were cats on the sofa, cats in the hall. Cats coming out of a hole in the wall. A voice behind her, clear and strong, said, you have come where you don't belong. Madeline turned in disbelief to see that it was the camera thief. Yes, tis I, the thief Katerina, protector of the Colina, Colina Felina. We are the orphans of the street, these cats and I, so that we may eat is the reason why I steal from you tourist passerby. While I applaud your charity, let me say this with clarity. Stealing is wrong no matter the cause. You may not like it, but those are the laws. It's easy for you to judge and to scold, for what do you know of hunger and cold? Here's your camera, now don't be slow. Just take your well-groomed mutt and go. The two of them left in a hurry, but now they had a different worry. What was the name of their hotel? How would they find dear Miss Clavel? Little girl, would it be a bother to photograph me with my father? But the, ma the picture Madeline took was the portrait of a crook. Hey, Madeline, thanks for the assistance, Katerina said, running into the distance. The victims were stunned, then both of them hollered. But lo and behold, the thief got collared. Gotcha, said the cop as he seized her. 
And don't forget her accomplice either. Miss Clavel was at the court to file a missing persons report. That's the second case I've heard today of children who have gone astray. Their daughter, too, had disappeared, I'm sad to say. The worst is feared. In came two criminals walking slow, their noses sniffling, their heads hung low. What a shameful sign of the time, still so young and turned to crime. Madeline, the girls rejoiced, with hugs and cheers and eyes all moist. Katarina, the parents cried. When you missed your dinner, we thought you died. Dinner? A home? A family? said Madeline. You lied to me. I just wanted to help the cats somehow, Katarina said. What will happen to them now? What's this about some cats I hear, said Papa. How many do you have, my dear? She'd only made it to 11 when her mama cried, Good heaven! All of these cats, what shall we do? Not a person had a clue until Madeline had the inspiration for how to solve the situation. First, a complete evacuation. Then, a rescue operation. Cats to adopt. An orange tabby was bound for Brazil, a calico for Notting Hill. Two more would be meowing Russian off to Stockholm with their cousins. Cats with Peppy, a spotted kitty, would make his way to New York City. Another missing half his tail was flying home to Israel. One last cat would be going home to a beautiful house right here in Rome. My parents are letting me keep this one. Thanks, Madeline, for all you've done. Her cat let out a happy meow. And now, dear reader, we bid you ciao. The end.